All right, here I am recording live from the art barn. I just got back today from the big city of Cranbrook. I went there with my son Pascal, Mona, and my friend Asia, who we've seen on other videos. And the reason was just to get out of the house for the day because um, some people were coming over and I didn't really want to see them, so I just wanted to be out of the way. So that worked out good. Because we're excited to go to the Salvation Army. Who doesn't love the Salvation Army? So, and Fabric Land I went to. Oh, and we went to the pet store. Because somebody got a big pig's ear. Which I actually had a hard time buying because... The poor... But she really, it was like the best thing she liked. And it stops her from chewing shoes. So that's good. She really loves it. Like, she really loves it. She hides it, too. Like, she goes over in the corner and the, behind the bins and stuff. She's trying to sho shove it in behind the boxes and stuff. So it's cute. And it keeps her out of trouble so I can do videos. So one of the things I wanted, I had in my mind was to get a dictionary because, I, I mean, because all the other 20 dictionaries I have wouldn't be good enough for this new project that I wanted to start. And I was expired. It's, Expired. Inspired from the group on Facebook, which is the Dictionary Journalers, I think they are. I just joined it, and I'm not sure of the name, and I don't know how to do the links yet. So, um, if you know who I mean, the Facebook Journalers, just put the quote in the comments. That would help me a lot. I'd really appreciate it. Cat Hand, she probably knows. She's into that big time. She, uh, she might have been the one that inspired me. So, Cat! Can you put the link for me in the comments below? I'm not too sure which one would be. <laughs> Over there? Okay, so with the idea in mind of getting a dictionary, I found one! Yay! And you're going to be like, what's with the camera? Well, so here's what I decided to do with my dictionary. I'm going to do one every day. This, is, this will be my everyday thing, and I'm going to record it every day. I know, right? You're like, don't do it. Setting yourself up for failure. Well, we'll see. I'm going to try and do one every day. So uh, if I get 90% in, in 365 days in a year, I'll be happy if I can do it 90% of the time. So try and do it every day. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to open the dictionary to the page, which I did. And I came to the word findable, finder. The word I picked was finder. So then, right away it says, uh, small lens, like, about a camera, right? So I was like, and then I had my bin with this camera that I wanted to take to the gleaners, because I never, haven't used it in a hundred years, and maybe somebody else can, but then I thought maybe I should keep it for parts, and then, so it was in this box, I couldn't get rid of it yet, and, I was, and then I thought, well, there's a finder on the end, so what I did was I put my camera here, and I just, oh, and I'll show you what I got, I have to walk away from the camera, sorry, come on. So what I got in Cranbrook was these pens. Um, hold on, let me find it. I got this fabric too, I'll show you that. I got so much stuff, it's gonna be funny. Oh, okay. Some seam lining, this um, tape, and a Stabilo pencil I used. Do I need to find a Stabilo pencil? I mean, everyone knows what the Stabilo pencil is like, right? Like, just tell me you don't, you know, because I can't find it right now. But I usually have like 10 of them, so I should have another one for here. Here we go. So, so I decided to just use the Stabilo pencil to roughly sketch it out. And then to use these new Bean, Bing Fang watercolor brush pens. Bing Fang.
Her collar got hooked on this little clip thing for my stencils and she couldn't move because it was like... It's... They're, like, they're going like 100 kilometers over the speed limit. They're so bad. Um, Awful, isn't it? So she's all right, Chris is ready. Back to the bang thing. These are awesome. Um, Acid-free, permanent, blendable color. Paint in brush. Yeah, watercolor brush pen, speedball. You have to just take out the little white thing. I've used the black and the, and the yellow. Yeah, I just, so I just sketched, I think she's got my pencil. Oh no, I just got her pig's ear. I don't know what I did with the pencil. Maybe I just left it up here, because here's one. I had a million of these to bellow, but they're all blue. Careful, there's pins in there, mommy. Bad mom. I bought her another outfit today, like a rain jacket, because I so want to do a pattern and teach people how to do it on my fancy sewing machines. And they'll pay me. So I got this fabric today. It's um, like waterproof. It's got plastic on the inside. So when you stitch to it, you throw it in the iron and it seals it back up. And I got this nice soft stuff. So I'm going to make her a little coat. And I'm going to use the seam binding that I left up on the counter. And I have a, a reflective strip that's going to go down the back. So that's awesome. And we can put some little Harley Davidson type logos on there. Okay, so back to this. So here it is. The start of a dictionary page a day. And I'm just going to, the next one, I'll just open it up and I'll go like that. And it'll be... Line of defense, any natural or artificial barrier that can be employed for defense against invasion or attack. But I'm not going to do that one because I was, oh, this is bad. Yeah, you, you're catching me on camera being a bad mom there. Oh, crisis averted. The, she likes this kind of stuff, so bad mom. She needs to go on her pen in her kennel because it's almost bedtime. So I just wanted to show the... She's got her pig's ear again, so she's happy. I wanted to show the finder. The new project that I'm going to go do. Which is... Oh, did you hear her? Which is a dictionary page a day. Sketching with Stabilo pencil. And bam bang, watercolor brush pens. So, and then I'm going to write a story about the day. So that's what I'm doing. All right, and then I'm going to make some jackets. And then I'm going I'm to figure out how to make some jackets. And then I'm going to teach people how to make some jackets. And then, um, oh, what? Here comes somebody else racing down the road. Such bad teenagers, hey, Mona? Okay. So I'm going to get at it. Thanks for watching. That's all I got for now.